Hello and thanks for tuning in. My name is Shaitan and in this video, we'll look at the URL assignment part of display conditions in JD Builder and really how it works. So this is our page. The URL is website index.php, the name of the menu item, right? And let's say we want this piece of content, this section to be only visible when the URL is a little different. So something like this, right? So where I say uh, FB refer equals true, right? So that's that's really a, a short form for the user is coming from Facebook. You could do that in several different ways. You can have it as a different variable, or if you're using this URL as a place on wherever you're advertising, or if it's probably something you sent in an email, right? So it can be anything. And all we have to do is copy this URL and we go to section settings, since we're doing it on a section level, advanced conditional display, it's already turned on. And if it's not, go ahead and turn it on. Once you do in the URL part, say include. Now, because I wanna include it on this URL, you could very well say exclude as well and just paste the URL, it's one URL per line, simple as that, done, save. And if I go ahead and refresh this page, which is without that FB refer part, you can see it's not here anymore. But if I go here, you can see it will display here. So it can be useful to display certain pieces of content based on the URL itself. Even though it's all the same page, but you can have a different URL, uh, just have a question mark tag on if that page is being accessed through your email campaign that you sent, or it's being accessed through your Facebook ads, Google ads, or, or any piece of third-party traffic that you are getting to your website. And it can be very useful just to track and show something specific to the user. For example, if the user is coming from an email campaign, you could show them something that's specific to the email campaign that you sent out. If the user is coming from a Facebook ad, you could show them something that is specific to the ad the user clicked on. So that's really how the URL assignment works. We have other videos that show how the other assignments work. And let us know if you have any feedback. Thanks for watching.